In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a halftone effect inside of After Effects without using a single plugin. So let's jump to the tutorial. I'm going to begin by creating a new composition and name it Render 1920x1080. Then drag the video of your choice to the timeline. I'll be using the simple video for the C and the, the Sun. And then uh, pre-compose the video by right-click pre-compose. That's called this video. Then make sure move all attributes is selected, then click OK. After that, you can hide the video pre-comp. We don't need to see it. Then go to the layer, new solid. And let's name this one BG. And for the color, go for the pure white. Click OK. And go to layer again, new solid. And this time, let's name this one dot. So make the color completely black. Then head over to the effects and presets window and search for CC ball action. Add it to the dots solid layer. In effect control, set grid spacing to 4 and ball size to 12. And that is what we get at the moment. Now we need to create a new adjustment layer. So go to layer, new adjustment layer. Then go back to the effect and presets window. Search for camera lens blur and add it to the adjustment layer. Then set blur radius to 6. And for the blur map, let's select the pre-comp where your video is located. And also for the source, click the drop down and select effects and masks. And make sure that invert blur map is checked. At the moment, we don't actually see anything. So in order to fix it, we go to effects and presets window, search for curves, and add curves effect to the adjustment layer. Then drag the bottom point all the way to the right to crush the blacks, and we're starting to see the image, which is really close to the half tone effect already. Let's also add curves effect to the video pre-comp, and drag the bottom point to the right, but not all the way, somewhere in the middle of the second square. And that really darkens the darker areas of the composition. Now we're going to soften everything using the Gaussian Blur. So search for Gaussian Blur and add it to the video pre-comp. Then set the blurriness to 10. And this will soften the image and give it a complete halftone look. Now we can do a preview to see the results. And in case if you don't like the size of the dots, you can always go back to the dots uh, solid layer and change the grid spacing and ball size of the ball action effect. So you can increase it or decrease it depending on your choice. So go back to the way it was. And the beautiful thing about this effect is that it's completely procedural, meaning that if we go into the video pre-comp and decide to use a different piece of footage and then come back to the main render comp, this effect will be instantly applied to the newer video. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new in this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.